How's it going everybody? ATW Tech here. Just going to do a quick uh, video of how to overclock your Alienware Alpha R2 and then do a quick uh, performance test on Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, I tested that at 1080p uh, ultra settings and I got about 45, I think about 45 to 50 FPS uh, non-overclocked. So hopefully that'll jump us over to 60, maybe. I'm not really uh, positive. Um, but it's simple. I mean, a lot of you guys should know how to overclock your systems already because you probably did it on your R1 and it's the same system as doing it on the R2. Uh, you pretty much, you're going to go to Google, you're going to type in MSI Afterburner, you're going to click one of the first links, whatever the official page is, you'll come to this site, um, then you'll click Downloads, go to MSI Afterburner, click Download MSI Afterburner. You can do the beta if you want to, I'm just doing the regular. Uh, download it, install it, you'll, uh, you know, do whatever your computer does, and then open this up, and this is what you'll see for the program. You'll see graphics card, GTX 960, driver version 359.46, and um, doing some research, I found on overclockers.net, uh, the wonderful people there pointed, pointed me in the right direction for the best settings to use on your overclock. And uh, that's 200 on the core clock and 400 on the memory clock. They got pretty stable results. One guy got 60 on uh, standard without overclock. On fire strike, he got 6,200. And then with the overclock, I think it was 7,100. So that's a pretty massive, uh, pretty massive jump from 900 points up. So I'm going to see if that really translates to real world, real world performance and see if we can get a steady 60 at ultra 1080p on Star Wars Battlefront. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace. Have the location of the first pod. Picking up enemy signals. New ATST detected. We're securing the escape pod.
The enemy is in 